uh, you know, his materialistic, egoistic ways and have make him understand that he is zero point nothing and nobody surrounded with the people that can do with him whatever they want to do, basically. So they, they, they lower down his... Uh, how can I say, uh, like you have a chihuahua that is acting like, uh, I don't know, pit bull or something like this, basically. And he got quite a few slaps from these people, too. They, they, they give him. But, you know, it's just a person like this, uh, in my opinion, mentally sick, that uh, when it comes to mentally sick people, you don't really want to go and beat them up and, and do the stuff like this. This is just how I see this. Thing. My father never considered any of that kind of stuff. He went even further and did all that shit to me. This is the type of person he is. So you want to tell me whether the individual is mentally sick or not. Uh, I don't really see how you would actually not be. Uh, I don't get here anything else and I'm not complaining about it. I'm not complaining about it. I spent about, they spent on me about 70, 80 euros per month and foot and that's about it. I get that room. And this is it. And even so, I bother them. I explain everything at the end of the video. I'm not going to go into these details right now. But anyways, even though they pay him for the fruits here and stuff like this, and even that they have taken care of Nee's husband, all that stuff, uh, he was still unhappy. And he would go and he would just, uh, you know, he would rather go, uh, he does that, collect apples. He wasn't actually, he wanted us to cut the grass, yeah, that's what the cutting grass is all about. Cut the grass, collect him an apples, so he can take the apples to the uh, forest, the local forest where he feeds uh, wild boars and shoot them, basically. Not even to eat them. Not even to eat them, but just to shoot them and give them away, basically. A trophy, if, maybe, something like this. Just like this. This is this is a real my father. Um, I went a little bit too far right now with this stuff. But anyways, uh, nobody would gradually, systematically, these people no longer would want to eat from this fruit yard. I'm going to show you inside here uh, the house that we have and inside of this property. This property, if you would be in the U.S., this property here probably would cost about at least I would say two million dollars like this house with the with the fence with all this stuff at least that's what this would normally run you with a waterfront and all that you would pay two million dollars for it easily and here in Slovenia this is also was very appealing to the Vladimir Putin you have my mama with elementary school and you have my papa that kind of also is, what can I say, uh, educated for a technician in a fishing harvestry. That, that's about it. Speaks uh, Serbo-Croatian language at best. That's all there is to it. Uh, and when you have uh, stuff like this, um, pensioners basically that cry about how difficult it is, this and that, blah, 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 but can afford themselves actually to purchase a brand new car every year uh let's say a Škoda fabia let's say is a nice decent car these people could buy themselves a brand new one every year uh have thousands of dollars in hunting equipment have thousands of dollars in fishing equipment in the fishing poles rifles binoculars and shit like this it was something that extremely appealed to vladimir putin because in the russia ladies and gentlemen situation is far from that easy far from that beautiful so they they love this place and they want it and that that's that's basically when vladimir putin and shoigu become a little bit uh, dizzy about all this stuff and they started to dream about all these people started to dream about that they must have also luxury they got contaminated they got this infected with this mental disease that uh my father had how you know luxus and this materialistic this is the way it is this is this is how it's got to be nobody cares about who's gonna pay for this shit like in the u.s they would tax you they would give you on a property like this uh probably 
I don't know, probably would have to pay maybe $120,000 per year in taxes. This here in Slovenia, this is just a peanuts. This is just a few, few euros every year that he has got to pay and stuff like this. That's why we have a system like this. That's why the U.S. is excelling. Uh, and that's why our countries are the way they are, basically. But, and you can see what's happening in Russia with the Putin, what, what he is buying over there and doing with the money and stuff like that. So, um, how can I say, uh, systematically people no longer, my father cultivated itself, became normalized, they normalized him. Once they demonstrated him where his place really is within the society, once they make him understand that he is zero point nothing and nobody, he understood. He's not stupid. He understood that any moment he can <whistles> pack and go. He understood that stuff. He got that. Uh, but over time, you know, this is just an individual that was just going frenzy about all this shit. He would again start to harass people and stuff like that. So they no longer would even eat from this fruit yard. They would go to the local store. They would purchase themselves fruits over there and they would eat them rather like this. And they would systematically, gradually, sometimes 2004, 5, 6, what they would do is uh, they would meet here mostly for business inside of the house. This is where the deals were discussed big time. Uh, this was still the place that secure place that you could go and you would be cut from around. Like I said, they would stay inside of the metropole. They would stay uh, now known as a Kirka Hotel. Uh, they built a complex, I think what is 2004, 2005, most likely 2006. 2004, I think they completed one, if I'm exact about that. Americans helped them with the architecture uh, and also other things. What they would do is they would give the local architects uh, plans and stuff like this, and then these local architects would come, oh, we have this, we can offer this, and we, we would do it like this, and they would do it. In reality, those are actually American plans. It was our, our American blueprint architecture, British, whatever you want to call that, they would give them. Uh, because this is how they wanted to have, this is how it was. And locals here gladly accepted that because it, it accommodates tourists, uh, it brings fresh capital to the local uh, city here. Uh, it's a business, gives jobs, employment, and stuff like this. So they became actually grateful in a certain aspect. They stimulated locals into cooperation uh, with this stuff. Okay, so that much about this. Um, ring glow, green fruit, whatever, green gauges, uh, which I will talk about a little more in continuation. I am again on the territory of Emmanuel Macron. He used to come here. I'm just kidding here, okay? This is just abandoned fruits here. Uh, nobody cares about this. And they're abounded. There are plenty. It goes along the road. So my father would give them a hassle. Uh, wow. Uh, you have no idea about my father, how he loves to harass people. Uh, but, you know, he would only harass those that uh, allow him to harass him. And another thing was uh, whatever the state of Slovenia or Russians, if you like, would give him as a side job to harass people. Now, like, not the politicians, but like people that were with them and stuff like that. That's what he would come to his, uh, you know, sadistic expressions and so on. They have rated him really as an insane. They even have hit him. Uh, it was all kinds of troubles. And I guess for all that stuff, uh, my daddy blamed me for I was guilty for everything. Everybody blamed me for everything. Which is actually a really good thing because I left Slovenia because of my daddy. That's a house you could have four families inside. Uh, but no, he kept one to himself. My sister didn't, didn't want to be there. Uh, daughter from my sister didn't want to be there. Nobody wanted ever to be close to my father. He was, and he still is. The only thing is he learned to hide, but otherwise he still is the same thing. So I'm actually glad that I went to the U.S. and that he got punished so severely because he had such a disagreements with the people. 
he hated Jews because Jews wouldn't take any shit from him. Uh, you know, they if 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 they ever were necessary, they would slap him. I mean, just like this. Uh, Shoigu did, and others did. Nobody took shit from my daddy, and my daddy really, really resented me that I was guilty for it all. See, that's a punishment. God sees things and does it in such a mysterious way that person who does the stuff like this eventually gets slapped big time. Slovenia people are very family-oriented people. Uh, for that matter, very good people. Uh, parents love to have children at home. They build large houses so they can have their children and even grandchildren at home and they take care of them very, very well. This is how it is in Slovenia. But my daddy, whose house is, I don't know how big that is. It's a, it's a castle, almost like a castle. Um, he just wanted his fishing equipment that he wasted thousands of dollars on it. And the rifles, hunting rifles, that also he wasted thousands of dollars on it. And, you know, this is what his life was, hunting, fishing and gardening uh, gardening so he kept slim he didn't get obese or something like that that's all there is to it and of course a cover-up for like I'm a poor man I'm retired I'm poor and I have to do this kind of stuff because I'm retired and poor that's what he wanted me to believe in and that's what others who used to come in the house wanted me to believe in Let's see how clean it is here. Uh, there's a house right here. Ah, uh, that's the little farm. Totally abandoned. And I gotta say how disgusting and how shameful the Borg Pahar. Look, look how clean this place is now. It's insane completely. It's very difficult to even cut here uh, the grass and look what they, these people, what they have made them do, all these things. Uh, he would go and he would just, Borat Pahar would just go and tell people that here along the road, if this, if guests can sleep with them in their homes, uh, he presented these people, the Russian people to them, and have gestured the locals here that, uh, he just gestured them that this is like a partisan, it's like having partisans over and stuff like this they just need the room and stuff and this is need some yeah basically he would go and he would tell people uh like this it's just they need they need place they need place for the night and then the people would start to hose them around uh then they came up with all kinds of scenarios this road here this is going to the castle stari grat old castle is the name uh, and i would go oftentimes here and then the Serbs Serb started to appear under MK Ultra. They also they have a Vikings over there. Look look at this. See these things here. They also have a Vikings over there, and they come up with a really really sick scenarios. A really sick scenarios on how I'm gonna get here a local Serbian woman, and I'm gonna have to f her. And if I'm not gonna f her, and they demonstrated to me this stuff too somebody else is gonna f her and stuff like this last time i went over there and there were a few of them they stalked they threatened also if i would go over there with abduction and stuff like this so i said you know what f that i don't want to go there no more lost the appetite to go to that place simple as this they come here to shit this place basically that's all there is from them they come here, but they don't clean after themselves. They leave the shit all over the place. Oh, here, do not stop here. This, they're gonna hijack you and so on and so forth. This is just a stop here for the bus. Look at this thing, folks. All this was so abandoned here. Uh, before all this thing started, you have no idea what this was. All clean. Uh, Everything under control, I would say. All trimmed, all normal. We are far from the city, folks. We are about 
city center is not anywhere close here uh, but this is how it is and it, this is the proper way by the way I like it this way too uh, but the only thing what I didn't like is how they treated people that's something I didn't like and that's something I disagree with interesting tree isn't it uh, the dog this barking this was already here in 2002 2003 2004 always was this dog was always here I remember this very well not this obviously they're not this dog but other dogs they they always have a dog these people always have it and it sounds like this like a big dog listen might not even be a big dog is what I'm trying to say is because it's a it's a house like this that gives that like reverber it's like amplifies the sound people here have hosted uh, politicians and stuff they know about these things uh, we are still at least 5.6 kilometers far from the city center and uh, I'm not talking about uh, a big city. I'm not talking about city with a half a million people or millions of people. I'm just talking about tiny little village almost. This is 20, 25,000 people uh, with a greater area that Novo Mesto is. Novo Mesto is a tiny little city. So 5.6 kilometers far from the city center, you see exactly what you see along this road you don't see this everywhere but along this road you do if people uh, would be suitable meaning that meaning if people would be presentable houses well cleaned people trimmed groomed with a pleasant personalities in other words they would not embarrass slovenia uh in front of the guests like this borat pahar was the one who would inspect and would like uh, grant this guests uh, possibility to go sometimes uh, to be with a certain people it's true um, this did happen in the house that you have seen uh, right down in that well uh, valley where I just passed by and it's gonna be again uh, another house down I'm gonna indicate I understand they did hosted these people yeah, and it's a possibility that the Russians were hosted on the other side of this uh, Ringlo, this green, um, whatever, this tree, fruit tree, uh, where you're going to see me, I'm going to reach out for some fruits and stuff like that. Uh, that's exactly how that was done. And I pretty much remember it all, why, how, and so on. All right, this is Ringlo I was talking about. You have a house right here across the road and then you had Macron tea if he would come at night time and he would get himself on this tree and he would take this ring gloss look how plentiful is this thing here the truth is really nobody eats this thing but Okay, so yeah, uh, so this was the Macronist specialty he would get here. He would get himself on this tree. Basically trees that you tree that you see here was already here in 2005 2006 they were already feeding uh, It was just almost like what you see right now full of fruit and as I walk along this road all these trees everything was already there um, Actually, I think it's something even missing, but I'm not sure I'm not gonna say anything about this stuff uh, but these people, these people of it's nice here. They they just let you take it. Uh, but they make them so very clear about the peaches. A little in continuation, you're gonna see peaches. That was different. We were taught back then: do not touch, do not eat peaches. You can take as many as you want this uh, fruit here, but not peaches. Apples and this, okay. 
pitches do not touch. Not pitches. This here, this this is so abundant fruit uh, tree. Nobody eats. Like the gentleman told me, he said, just eat. We don't know who this is. Uh, if you're not going to eat, the only thing that's going to happen, it's going to fell down. It's going to rot. And nobody eats. Take it as much as you can. Uh, along the road here, nobody eats this stuff. But this is the best fruit I think money can buy, I think. Well, what you see here was actually filmed just maybe one week later. And what you're about to see is horrific. I mean, it, with the whole bush now like this, everything rotten, falling down and eaten. Uh, all these fruits, I mean, giant, beautiful fruits uh, eaten by, uh, I don't know, maybe bees not really bees but i don't know how do you say that in english okay birds also and so on so it's basically thrown away if you don't eat this this just falls off and goodbye that's it next season then again rottens it's all rotten now it's too late i just want to demonstrate you how the hell that looks like filmed just maybe a week later too late Yeah, the season for these babies is finished. It's over. It's, you see this? I mean, it's finished. It's finished. It's over. Too late. What a fruit this is, boy. Rather than concentrating myself on the billboards, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I would suggest that more of this house is right in front of this houses. Uh, this ringlots, this fruits were here and they would take a large advantage of it they would eat big time these things so uh i don't do the stuff like this i'm just gonna tell you that this stuff was here if this not the same tree if they cut the tree out then for sure definitely uh there is a trace of a bigger one this was here i remember this politicians would come here and they would eat this along the road as they would go home just like i do right now a little rat that would pack his stomach on his way to our house or whatever he stayed uh, also was prince uh, harry his majesty prince harry slovenia is a very funny country uh the fruit that i just ate I am so sorry I don't know in English. I'm going to find the name online translator and post it. Uh, to me, this is personally delicious. Uh, the thing about it is that war for the fruit in Slovenia is waged around peaches. Yeah, people will go and they will kill you if you go try to steal peaches. I'm just saying like this in, you know, a little bit. Just being a little bit uh, in humoristic sense, not really kill you. But you know, if you go, they call that robotania. That can be a serious uh, resentment for that kind of stuff, and it can be all kinds of complications. For the peaches, they will get you. So many apples, nobody cares, folks. Here, apples. If you want to go buy apples in a supermarket, I have no clue. In the summertime, don't uh, too many here, and it goes all the way to the fall. The second thing that I have observed here, people getting hurt big time, was for the cherries. People in Slovenia are crazy about the cherries. Every year, numerous people end up in a hospital. Well, this is long, folks. This is long, and look at. Look at my backpack, uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, that's how I catch condition. Every year numerous people break their backs, end up on a wheelchairs for the rest of their lives. It's a so stupid thing to do. But people in Slovenia are crazy about cherries and peaches. Peaches, I can somewhat understand. But cherries are really, really obsession here. 
nobody however cares about that delicious fruit right there that is totally delicious in my opinion i don't know why that is is it just because it's like this along the road i don't know what what the reason is but they are delicious and totally free anyways this area here total stupidity they were hiding the so many grass and also over there where those ring lots are uh, as a matter of fact where those ring lots were it was uh, wheat i remember like uh, tall wheat and this idiots russians Volva and show you this they would hide themselves inside of the wheat they would lay down like a like a like a cow like a complete idiots then it would be ah uh, uh, grab him grab him grab him and stuff like this from the grass they loved corn they love to hide themselves inside of the corn what can i say and in a little bit i'm gonna demonstrate you uh they got some teenagers around here uh to um orchestrate abduction from from the side of the road you know, because why because here this is how they have rationalized yeah this is the old it's not an autobahn it's just like a little state road used to be before you see there's an autobahn right there i'm going to demonstrate you that uh, but it goes along this one here uh, the only thing we're going to do is we're going to abduct you we're going to grab you and the only thing we have to do is this Vucic was so crazy about this that guy is totally nuts he's a mental patient individual is a mental patient total mental patient is and a president of serbia we just have to take him 500 meters 200 meters the car stops uh, in an autobahn we throw him inside and the next thing you see it's a border croatia croatia and that's it this is why this road and stuff like that crap total stupidity is total crap that's where i grew up that's where i lived and these people are just uh, like i said they, they totally ruined my life in respect to the vesna schwab what upsets me especially what upsets me about this woman this is a so criminal sadistic woman you have no idea she loves to hike herself she goes hiking herself she would go and she would hike oftentimes with us she would be present with these politicians she would be on the site and 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 listen to what what they say this and that and what and would converse with her partners from overseas how things and this and that you know with the females which is completely okay it's fine but she was like they tried to present as i was the one who wanted to go inside of the hospital they're going to make you a favor they presented me the whole case as placing me in a mental hospital it's going to be a favor to me this is going to be a favor to me this is how i'm going to get wealthy and stuff like that this is the type of shit we're talking about at the same time she talked about they asked her what about would you do this kind of stuff and she said do you think i'm completely insane look how beautiful it's here look how nice it is here uh, i don't know what i would do to a person that would place me inside of the mental hospital like this even for a single minute that would take away from me all this this is how vesna schwab is they have under mk ultra i'm gonna say heavily incited in a stalking of psychiatrists even have supported the idea of intimidating them of my going out there and give the flyers in front of their ambulance to the people that walk by actually even in front of the hospital and stuff like this um, creating idea basically in supporting the idea about creating me creating an incident me creating a conflict with area with the people with surrounding villages with um going out and just film the people that would afterwards expose themselves and imagine even stock psychiatrists and stuff like this they heavily have supported that kind of stuff 
conflicts. The idea was to create conflict, get yourself in a difficult situation, position that you would you would actually give them the ability to point the finger at you. That's about the worst thing I could possibly do. That's why Vesna Schwab, that's why this is going to go all the way to the end. It's a sadistic maniac. I don't like sadistic people. I don't like sick sadistic people. Let's just say that. I like normal, rational people. Uh, I don't like people that take advantage of other people when they have. Just very important detail that I have to release about the Vesna Schwab as well. Vesna Schwab, I told her in that MK Ultra, I will get her. I said, you're not even from here. And you're making all these problems to me under MK Ultra. You're not gonna stay here. I told them this under MK Ultra. What's gonna happen? She said, "Oh no, 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 no! You're wrong. You're wrong about that. I actually am from here. I am from Novo Mesa, like you said." Okay, so this is gonna be again now location update. Where are we at? we are just about to come here i'm gonna list this as number 13. well that's a lucky number uh right here now you're gonna see me walking along this stuff last time i did not properly disclose basically in video number one okay uh, as i walk along this road here uh, what goes along this road also is this autobahn you see and then what we're going to do is I'm going to approach here to the intersection and I'm going to call this number 14. We're going to do this. I'm going to explain to you the issues behind this one here exactly. That's pretty much, uh, da, 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 da. I think it's like like here, something like this. There's like a little barn, you know, like a little uh, pizza restaurant. Uh, interesting stuff. I'm going to give you some idea about this. The well, thing is that you, you're watching Autobahn right there. watching parallel to the autobahn this state road you see like a local road now turn into a local road uh, and so let me see something uh, I am actually I think I am no I'm not this is the old autobahn here that you see and that's an old uh, that's a brand new autobahn right there that was extremely costly and so their idea was we're gonna grab you here and the only thing that's gonna happen we're gonna have somebody over there wait we throw you inside you're gone this is the direction i came from right now as you see there's a funny vehicle parked over there but anyway they orchestrated how they're gonna grab me from how they're gonna jump from behind this curves they're gonna jump down and they have used local kids but in continuation there are two bars here which I will not record uh, they were also numerous Serbs against Serbs and these Serbs are very very aggressive very abusive and it was like look how many we have here see this bars all this it's all Serbs they parted all the way to the night, late night. Uh, and so I, uh, you know, I was in a difficult economical situation, but I worked very hard in Miami. And what I did was I confronted the Serbs and I said, I said, yeah, I said, oh, let me ask you, I said something, let me ask you a question. I mean, you're here so late at night, 10, 11 o'clock, midnight these people would still drink over there and always would wait we would go by and stuff like that what are you doing here only drinking i said okay i'm now using again my uh, infrared telephone uh look here is what it is i asked those people in those bars at night time oh, what are you doing here i mean what don't you work i mean don't you have a tomorrow don't you have employment don't you have a job what kind of education you have i started to f them I was subjected to MK Ultra, but I started to F them. I mean, I was wanted to be busy in Miami. Like I said, sometimes I would pull shifts together 24 hours straight to make the money. And I see the Serbs in these lo locals, in these bars here, doing nothing but drinking at, into late night, into like midnight. 
that's exactly the second bar not the first one but the second bar on the map I'm gonna show the location I said what are you doing here I said where you know do you have a time for all this but who is paying you who is giving you the money where do you get the money to just drink here every night wherever we come around here you're here these people are always there these Serbs this Vucicic Chetnik local Chetniks if you like and so and they get very very upset with me what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell you we're gonna sell you to the Israel uh, we, we're gonna make a money with you and you're gonna go from here and we're gonna come here instead of you and stuff like that totally primitive if you want to learn about the person or about the nation about the people what you got to do is basically you're never ever going to learn when you're a good standing and you're when you're in a good situation you're never ever going to learn like this anything about you know really who person or people or nation is not going to learn anything about it what you got to do is you got to open yourself up and you got to expose your weaknesses uh give them a potential for the attack if that's what they want that's when you really learn like when i was in a situation that mk ultra didn't have absolutely any any uh control over me it was all controlled by other people that's when they demonstrated the real face that's when i learned about the serbian culture more than i would learn possibly from all the books from everything from i could go a thousand years I could visit Belgrade for a thousand years and the only thing I would see is I never ever would see the real face of the people. I never would know anything about it. Um, this for me was priceless. That's when I got really, really, really the opportunity to see how these people felt like what we can do with you. Yeah, when all those stuff there are basically those frustrations that are hiding from the society from the people but carry inside with them all that stuff surfaced up they were they felt like they sit at the top of the world that is just the whole world is theirs I mean they can do anything they want to do with me and the plans they were coming with the stuff they have talked about uh this was just the most disgusting thing uh if the germans were here if, if, if let's say the germans if this were the world war ii there would be your occupation of the neo-nazi germany i don't think um this would be different situation from what our people have suffered during the world war ii under the german possibly italian occupation i don't think there was any difference uh, their intentions their plans for me were just um unforgettable unforgettable they would also have i don't think there was a real gun i think it was an air gun it's also possible it was a real gun and they would play with that weapon to steer a little bit atmosphere under MK Ultra and stuff like that. So, not very nice of Borat Pahar to subject me to this type of circumstances, but I think that uh, he himself also learned a little bit about our Serbian brothers and sisters. Um, just how far things went, let's just put it that way. Just saying the way it was folks there is absolutely nothing else for me here to say there is only one intersection there this intersection goes to to this autobahn which you see goes parallel to where i'm going right now and that was again a paranoia a total schizophrenia belgrade first it was massad jew massad massad jew now they realized everything is going down the toilet it became totally obvious who is behind it all and who always was behind it all that's all there is and then again they insisted on that intersection which i'm going to demonstrate to you how they just gonna 
come with a car and just throw me inside and take me and that, that so on and so forth if I'm gonna do this it's gonna be that if you're not gonna look stupid mentally sick it's gonna be abduction or we're gonna kill you we're just gonna get a loco here one of our Chetniks and they're gonna take care of you and stuff like that well the truth is that the guy they had in mind that guy uh, actually knows the truth and who knows maybe he's gonna bring me the truth maybe he's gonna tell me Otro under MK Ultra he came up with some boogie scenario that he's gonna create some kind of a stupid situation if I ask him about it uh, uh, that he's gonna panic people and stuff like that that's why I don't, I don't get into I don't I don't ask people here I got nobody nothing to ask if somebody wants to contribute if somebody wants to help uh, he is welcome to help I will also more than glad to reward him or her when the stuff is done but uh, you know other than that that I would go and stalk people and tell people that they know this and that and record them and you were and this were <laughs> no way uh, it's already enough uh, I have exposed people the main people that are behind it and really what's happening in here Netanyahu said you're not even you don't even belong to the real political option he said and there are two options here uh, one is Germany another one is Russia uh, and then maybe some other option too but this is about it here and you don't belong to any of these options uh, it's going to be very difficult for you because you don't identify with any of this uh, this people here he said it's all going to fail they're all going to crash they they will eat they will uh you know like rodents do you know they're going to eat from underneath and they will collapse the society here and return yugoslavia and so on very tough situation Netanyahu finally realized in the end that this people this people were mad not I but they were the ones after me not I after them I was the one in trouble and so that's how it all ends there is a shopping center right there known Kulandia and there is an intersection this is for this part of the novel master for the other part of the novel master they had other scenarios uh, but it's pretty much uh, there is a sign right there that demonstrates where you go to Croatia or you go to Ljubljana on the Autobahn so They did some scenarios here. They did some over there where the Stari Grad is. Uh, for this stuff that I'm talking about, psychiatrists promised me that again I'm going to be a knowledge as a schizophrenic and stuff like this. Uh, if I would dare to talk about this stuff, uh, they're going to go after me. Blah 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 blah. Nobody gives a shit about them because I'm after them, not after, not that they are after me. Here, this is the roundabout circle uh, that will take you uh, come on where is the car when I need one this was taken just five days ago by my Olympus camera which miraculously was repaired in meanwhile obviously by my niece's husband somehow and I did record it what was done to one in the past okay we'll take you to Sev, no, not Sevnica, just about 20 kilometers from here. I think it's uh, Melania Trump. This is why Donald Trump would come here with Melania, was all the time was here. Uh, but other than that, there is a Ljubljana, it's going to Ljubljana, and the other one, Novo Mesto. Ah, oh, yeah, they say Brezhica, they say right there, they say Brezhica, but Brezhica, that's actually Zagreb. This is going to take you all the way to Zagreb, Autobahn, this one here. This is going to the Zagreb. Uh, too bad no car comes around, but I ain't got no time here to waste. 
and wait for the car to come. I gotta go. So that's pretty much it. A little too bad this uh, camera. I gotta find out what's going on. Why is it such a blurry picture? But I think I did pretty pretty damn good job. It took me several days. I did several rehearsals on this video documentary to find a complete one the way I would want. Uh, there was some meddling because they know what I do, what am I doing, they know exactly, they track me, what I do, what my activities are, and compared to the two MKL draw scenarios, they know exactly what I'm doing. So they try to, you know, they try to, do, how can I say, influence me and steer me in hatred and in the wrong ways and stuff like that. It was all kinds of attempts I did, but through it all I did very well. Uh, truth has got to be said, things have got to be called out the way they are, there's nothing to hide here. Uh, for me it's nothing to be ashamed of, of what they have done to me and I'm very proud about the stuff I have performed myself against them. It gives me a very strong satisfaction. Take few photos of this roundabout. Don't really know how this. You see, this is this was taken five days ago. Uh, those photos somehow I cannot find them. I have no clue why that is. Uh, from here you can go to either Zagreb or Ljubljana through the autobahn, and you can also go to Šmarieške Terme or recreational area Castle of Torches. Uh, there is a shopping mall right there. Shopping center. Kolandia is the name of the game. Uh, owners of the Interspar company were here. Prince Harry knows them very well. Um, and also owners of, let's say, owner of the Eurospin, that's a corporation like Hofer Aldia, like huge Italian corporation. I have seen one just about, I think about two weeks ago was on a torches. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. Uh, all these people were here, all the business people, and from Britain, and from Germany, and from Italy, uh, and from the US, and so on and so forth. Place right there, I thought I was already finished, but I still didn't. Damn it, that place right there, that's called Kulandia. Okay, that's Kulandia. Uh, that's where they had me deal neo Nazi papers that they brought from the US, basically. Uh, taking a fingerprints from me and ridiculing me in front of the people and getting me slapped, humiliated. Imagine, and then you're transported back to your Miami and it's like, let's go on with a normal life. Coolandia shopping mall, uh, supposedly a honey for uh, females from foreign politicians, diplomats, business people and so on and so forth. I don't really care about. How the fuck is this normal? You tell me about this. How the fuck is this normal, Mr. Bush, huh? Mr. McCain, how is this normal? This is an old barn here. Total paranoia here. Next to it is a bar. If you're gonna approach this bar, uh, barn here, it's a really old barn. Okay, this is a barn. Uh, the truth is that Mossad kids, young man, uh, really did slap here. Probably a few times they did. They tried to save the money and Netanyahu was pissed off about their conduct in respect to this stuff. Uh, there's very close nearby here, there's like a dam, beautiful dam like the one at the Torch, it's castle. And they would go in the mornings, uh, just bat themselves, sold themselves, bat themselves, go fresh forward, uh, almost the same as you sleep in a hotel. Of course, I'm talking about a summertime and those times are gone too. Uh, you're never going to see them here again. But, you know, they did stuff like that, paranoia, uh, run the ball, the goes to Zagreb, Ljubljana and so on. And, you know, again, Massad, blah, blah. All right, so this is this roundabout and this what you see here, this is basically, this is a bar. Uh, the distance would be like... I have no, I would say like maybe, what is it, maybe like 100 meters maybe, and then you have a beautiful dam here, right here, which you cannot see, you cannot see this here, uh, the only thing you gotta do is basically cross river and then 
you are almost in our house this is already village our house is right here this is like a shortcut to it okay there also is a mill here old abandoned turned now into store i don't know what exactly they do uh, I ain't got no really clue, but oh, there you go. This is another proof about MK Ultra. It's a store now, but in let's say 2005, they had Israel is also in this uh, mill here. For the summertime, they would come, they would sleep inside, and they have actually even brought me inside. They had some babes with them. I know the people, the Israelis actually. I know who they were, remember them very well, but will not even say, will not go into the details. But, I mean, I really do, this is the thing. If I were to talk to Netanyahu about this, he would totally agree with me. In respect to the last claim, it is true, Netanyahu did left even few, you want to call that Mossad, people who provided good service, for him, for the state of the Israel, it was like, we're gonna leave them here if you're not gonna behave this and that. But it was really more like a word, I think, for their services to the state of the Israel, to Netanyahu personally. He is a person like this, is very giving person, Netanyahu, really. He appreciates people, he awards people. And so he left them here, and these people got married, they got children, they got kids, beautiful kids, established lives for themselves. None of this stuff I'm talking about are lies, these are just pure facts. And they did have uh, Mossad people, like I said, they were here. And so if you're going to come here, what's going to happen is they're waiting for you inside of the barn, and they're going to take you, they're going to take you away and stuff like that. You're going, you're going, I don't know what they're going to do to me. This was a scenario, folks. Okay, what what is this about this barn? Why this barn? I'm gonna explain to you why barn. Why am I talking about barn? Sometimes I forget. I just want to talk about this stuff and go on with it. But it's not like this because people won't understand. Barn because when we would be returning back from a torches, this is a public infrastructure now, asphalt road with lights and so on. So. If you want to go and release yourself now i did mention politicians and stuff like that they were very very cautious with this stuff like where are you going to go release yourself where are you going to go use there is no toilet okay release yourself you understand so what they would do is just before i came from that side road and that road that was close to the autobahn and stuff like this this would be like this is the last place, the last place, Dr. Bornstein would say, this is the last place, that's the last place, go, let's go, we're going to release ourselves here, are you sure, you don't need whatever, this is a very, very nice person, this Dr. Bornstein, very concerning person, uh, really, really nice person, and so this barn was, this was just the last option, because then the next, you just have to go like, you don't want to actually go anywhere around there and try to release yourself because people can see you that would be uncivilized uh so this is very very disciplined people very um, civilized people is what i'm trying to say okay that's why that barn if you're gonna come to that barn just do this from like almost distance and just go on with it don't go anywhere around this and that and tra -la -la, stuff like that that's why barn that's why barn now, this is a view from the barn again, uh, that's taken with Olympus camera. Um, magically, like I said, this camera have repaired itself. But I did record it, uh, what was done to one, actually. Yeah, uh, it's like this, basically. From number 14, right next door there is a restaurant, pizzeria, pizza, they make good pizza. They have like a huge parking and Americans uh, who would torture me GOP Republicans they are actually disgusting people if you ask me uh, really sadistically gestured on how you know they eat like a pigs how good time they had this and that and make sure 
you know, make sure you go to the parking lot and you video record all these cars, how the people are uh, parting over there and late into the night, basically at the same time when I was exposed to MK Ultra torture. Which, yeah, partially this is true. But on the other hand, imagine some lunatic going and basically video recording a parking lot private parking lot from some restaurant and placing cars and the whole thing on the internet like totally totally idiotic scenarios american scenarios like they try to screw me up big time uh right next door from this restaurant there is another i don't even know what that is i think it's a more like a bar it's called sun in english sonchek in slovenian language that's where those serbs uh would usually regularly they would gather themselves and party into the nights um i also have no idea going around and filming anybody because trespassing and this types of situ situations were for the obvious reasons uh they were highly 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 encouraged uh as i go back towards our house and we'll go through the bridge uh yeah I, of course i will pass the pharmaceutical company uh i can again i'm going to give you some ideas what americans have also done to me under mk ultra in 2006 I'm going to tell you a little history about the this shopping mall, Coolandia and all that stuff. Um, what they wanted me to video record, basically where to go, what they wanted me to talk about. But other than that, I kind of feel that pretty much we are actually done with it. Um, it's going to be interesting right here where this little river is i'm gonna show you i'm gonna demonstrate to you a beautiful flowers gorgeous beautiful one of the most maybe most beautiful flowers i have seen in my lifetime uh and that actually was a gift from benjamin Netanyahu, who again who left this beautiful sun drops flowers they actually are plants from central america that's like a little castle here and they would plant them here and those are special because they open at nights only in daytime they look like half dead you know but when the nighttime comes those are they just open and they're very beautiful it's just really really beautiful not native here uh this really was netanyahu's idea okay so i'm gonna visit some truck stops along the way again the truck stops again a paranoia it's like a little truck stop and then a this truck stop for which i deem it would location would be here 15. it's like a inspection technical services right here they do also for the cars and i think for the trucks a uh, repair shop for the trucks is just a, like a mini truck stop we're gonna i'm gonna stop here it's called bakery it's a bakery it's i'm gonna stop for dr bornstein he love it because they gave him some goodies at night time these people work overnight and when we would be coming back they would uh you know it would be like hello hello and he got here and there something good uh to uh you know to be more happy to be happier is a great person anyways is a happy person uh anyways then here is a pharmaceutical company and then like i said we go we're gonna pass this stream here we're gonna be at house that's about it for this video okay there is another uh, like a mini truck stop yeah, and again this is where the trucks like to stop here in this place you can see the truck here uh that's like a hmm, how do you call that so again like a little shopping center now you can't see i can't see anything on the camera in the dark uh cannot see much it's dark yeah i can actually do it now there you go 
uh, thanks to the car that came by, you can see the trucks. Cool.